Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make a quick, easy, and super delicious spinach lasagna. It goes together in no time and then just perks away in the oven and it's wonderful. Gooey, cheesy, delicious, perfect. And my favorite part about this whole shebang is that it just doesn't take any time. Um, I'm not going to be here tonight. I've got, uh, I'm going to the mall in Asheville for the story slam. And um, Ricky is on point with all the kids tonight. But I do try to make it a little bit easier for him by leaving dinner. Otherwise, um, he has a tendency to just tell everybody to go get a bowl of cereal. <laughs> which all right, wouldn't kill him, but then I feel guilty for leaving. <sighs> All right, so I have a relatively smallish dish. Um, what size is this? They usually tell you on the bottom. Um, and they're not gonna. It is a 2.6 liter, 2.75 quart. There we go. All righty. So we are assembling lasagna and we're doing it quickly. And I've got a couple things here that I've already prepped. And I'll put the links in here on how to make each of these different elements, which I do at different times because then I can pull this out and throw it together anytime I want to, right? So this is our quick tomato sauce that I've made and I stash it in the refrigerator for just this type of situation. And I'm just putting a little smear on the bottom of our casserole dish, just like that. So just a really thin layer, okay? And then these things, I don't know if y'all have seen these, the oven-ready lasagna um, noodles. That's what these are. They've been par-cooked, so they actually don't have to be boiled, which if you happen to be a monster klutz like I am, that's a godsend because I have a hard time some, well, <laughs> I was talking about being a klutz. I have a hard time sometimes just, you know, tying my shoes, let alone wrestling with cooked lasagna noodles that never want to go where I want them to go. So this is one of the few super shortcuts that I take. And all I do is I snap the pieces of the, so that you lay it like that. Make them fit. All right, so on top of this, we're gonna do a couple things. Right here, I have about the equivalent of two 10 ounce packages of spinach. I buy spinach in, in, at the warehouse club in the great big boxes, and most of the time, we use it up, no problem. But every once in a while, uh, like for example, last week, my niece got married we ended up going out of town, so I sauteed a bunch of spinach off, threw it in the freezer, and then I just defrosted it, right? I've got a link on how I do that, too. Um, so that's all this is, is frozen spinach. I sauteed it, froze it, defrosted it. Um, one thing I do want to mention real quick, though, guys, is that each of the elements that I'm using, because they were homemade, I already seasoned each element. I seasoned the spinach as I was making it before I froze it. I seasoned the tomato sauce as I was making it. So it's got a lot of flavor in here, so I don't need to do it now. But if you're using the frozen spinach um, or jarred or canned tomato sauce, you might want to give it a taste. I've noticed a couple things. Uh, the frozen spinach from the store has no salt and pepper, so it's got no flavor on it other than spinach, and um, it needs some help. All right, so this is an eight ounce package of mozzarella that I shredded just a minute ago. So we've got a little layer of spinach. We have a little layer of mozzarella. See? That's what we're looking at at this point. If it would focus, we could see better. No? No. I swear this camera is going to give me fits. I love the camera. I just bought it not long ago. But it seems to be possessed. All right. 
Over the top of that, we're gonna give a little layer of our tomato sauce. Not too much. When I first started making lasagna, my big problem was I put too much filling inside. My layers were a little too soupy. And so my lasagna would just collapse and fall apart. Which, you know, fine, it tasted good, but it sure couldn't, you couldn't cut it and make a square. You could just, like, scoop it. <laughs> ah. All right, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna noodles, spinach, cheese, and sauce. And I'm just gonna repeat until my dish is filled up. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're almost done. Got the fourth layer of noodles and the last of the spinach. So we are going to add the last little bit of the mozzarella. It's almost not enough. So I'm gonna add two ounces of Parmesan, just to bolster it a little bit, right over the top. And last of our tomato sauce. Not too much. All in all, I had two cups of tomato sauce. Just spread him out. And you know what? Other than defrosting that spinach, <laughs> which I just threw it on the counter when I ran to take the kids to school, since I already had everything made, this took less than 10 minutes to put together. All right, I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna throw this in there for one hour and I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna go find something else to do. It's not gonna be cooking. Okay, we've had a full hour in the oven. Ooh, this is hot. Ta-da! <laughs> That looks pretty daggone good. All right? Yes. All right, you can see we have no light. I even put a lamp in here because it's been so dark outside. All right, you can see the layers and we are bubbly on top, the sides. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna let it rest. I know, I know. If you want your lasagna to hold, okay. All right, well, okay, here, here's the thing. You can go ahead and eat it right now. It's gonna be delicious. There will be nothing wrong with it. It will just fall apart. But we're gonna let it rest to help maintain some cohesiveness so that we can slice it better. That's all. I mean, ideally, you would actually refrigerate it and then reheat it, but that's kind of silly for at home. So we're not gonna do that. But we are gonna let it sit here probably for at least 30 minutes, okay? I'll be back and show you what it looks like when we actually can make some squares. Okay. We have rested, so now we're gonna cut. And taste it, ha. So, I love this because of how easy it is. And I can throw some foil on here. And then when Ricky's ready to feed the kiddos tonight, he can either Throw the whole thing in the oven, which that's fine. Or microwave it. Shh. He'll probably microwave it. Da da. Tell me how pretty that is. I know, right? It's beautiful. And here's even better because I make. Some of the best tomato sauce on the planet. Love sauteed spinach, and I do mine with garlic and salt and pepper, a little olive oil, a little red pepper flake. <clears throat> so I know the elements taste great, right? Which means... <laughs> Holy cow. Guys, that's how you make lasagna right there. <clears throat> Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. And if you thought that video was helpful, do me a huge favor. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get a notification whenever I post a new video. And if you have a second, hop on over to Patreon and check out how to support my channel even more. Again, thanks for watching.